like me. <laughs> Wait, do you guys like Gavin better than you like me? Oh, of course not. This is awkward. Oh. Are you guys having a great time at the International Festival of the Arts? Yes! We hope you've got a fantastic day walking around the world of Epcot, and we're very glad that you landed here to yes. join us this evening. Thank you. We have had a fantastic two weeks as part of the International Festival of the Arts Disney on Broadway concert series here at Epcot. Nailed that, Kevin. Yes! Uh, we've been sharing the two weeks with our fantastic co colleagues Adam and Ariel Jacobs from Broadway's Aladdin. They have their last three shows tomorrow and we have our last three shows on Sunday. I can't believe it, it's gone like that. We are very sad, but who's going to be here for the next two weeks? You guys are in luck because our Disney on Broadway, co Disney on Broadway colleagues... Who you uh, back in? I know, sorry. Uh, Ashley Brown, who was the original Mary Poppins in Mary Poppins. Yes, I know her very well. Yes, exactly. She's going to be here along with Josh Strickland. The original Tarzan on Broadway. Yes. And then when they're not doing a show, every other two days, it will be Alton Fitzgerald White and Kissy Simmons. Stars of Broadway's The Lion King. Yes, so wow. it's a little bit of a confusing schedule. They do two days and then the other guys do two days. But essentially, if you're a little confused, if you come here in the evenings, you're going to hear some amazing Disney on Broadway music. And you're going to hear it sung by the people who sung it on Broadway. Whoa! Boom. Speaking of fantastic people who sing on Broadway, Heidi here, Woo! has been part of the Disney family for many, 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 many years. You sound old, Gav. Yes, but most importantly and most recently, she starred in the Disney Theatricals production of Freaky Friday. It's true, I did do that. She originated the body swapping role of Catherine Blake and she got to recreate that role in the Disney Channel's original movie of Freaky Friday. Gav, it's called a decon. What does that mean? It means a Disney Channel original movie. Do we learned something tonight. Fans. Hello! I didn't know the lingo until I did a movie, and now I know what a decom is. And she never guys. stopped saying decom. She'll say it at least three times tonight. Decom. Yes, and my friend Gavin over here has originated many awesome roles, but the one we are celebrating this evening is the little role that was celebrated in Disney on Broadway's Mary Poppins. Our Gavin created the role of Bert, and he did that both in London and Broadway. And Gavin, that performance was so fantastic, you were nominated for an Olivier and a Tony Award! So that was pretty good. We are honored to be part of the Disney on Broadway family, and we're very excited to be here tonight to get to share with you some of our favorite Disney on Broadway show tunes. Yes, just like the one we came bursting out of the curtain singing. Like we were 18 years old. Speak for yourself, Gavin. Mm. Um, it's from a little... It's not very well known. Oh, you won't know it. You will not know what this is musical from. That um, didn't do very well at the box office and certainly did not have a big fan following. Um, Gavin, I can't remember Something the title. Something about a school. High school musical! Anyone heard of that? I have heard of that. But did you know that Disney Theatrical toured a live version of High School Musical a few years ago? Did you so know did that? anyone see High School Musical live? Nobody! It doesn't matter because we're not singing any more songs from that show. That's it! It's over. Forget it! Forget High School Musical. I hope you enjoyed Bob to the Top. What are we going to sing next? Um, I'm going to tell you, we're going to transition back to the 1930s. Ooh. We're going to get in our time machine. It's very good, but it's involved in transition. Involved in transition. And uh, we are going to uh, talk about P.L. Travers, who... I'm telling you, you guys are the most awesome Disney musical theater nerds. It's well, many where... many people cheer for I know. old ladies who write children's books in Australia. Yes. P.L. Travers! P.L. Travers! Okay, focus. So, 1930s, P.L. Travers wrote about a cross but beloved nanny who captured the hearts of children and their parents across the globe, Gavin. Now, Mr. Walt Disney himself was a huge fan of these books, and he coaxed the rather reluctant author into letting him fashion a live-action and animated movie based on her stories. And in 1964, Mary Poppins premiered, and it became an instant classic. Duh, Gavin. Duh. Okay, and then 40 years later, the stage musical marked the power collaboration of Sir Cameron Mackintosh, Thomas Schumacher, and Disney Theatrical's production. And of course, you guys, duh, that was a big fat smash on Broadway too. And part of the reason was because this guy was the very first to dance on top of the rooftops of London eight shows a week. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do a little Mary Poppins with Gavin Lee. We 
with tuppence for paper and strings. You can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. With your fists holding tight to the string of your kite. Oh. Then something plain as a palm becomes a wonderland. All you have to do is look anew, then you'll understand why it's a jolly on the day with Mary. Mary makes your heart so light. When the day is grey and ordinary, Mary makes the sun shine bright. Our happiness is blooming all around her. The daffodils are smiling at the dark. When Mary holds your hand, you feel so grand. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. No wonder that is Mary that we love. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with you, Bert. Gentlemen like you are few. Why, oh, thank you very much. Though you're just a diamond in the rough, Bert. Underneath your blood is blue. You'd never think of pressing your advantage. For Mary's is the hallmark of your creed. has been strung. You may think of sweeps on the bottommost run. Though I spend me time in the ashes and smoke. In this old white world there's no happier bloke. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chimney. As sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chimney. Good luck will rub off when he shakes hands with you. Perfect crime, don't you seem a shame when the steps aren't going as smoothly as they might. That's when we step in, step in time, that's when we step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme
singing those Mary Poppins songs and dancing Step in Time. It was way back in 2004 when the stage show premiered in London. And I have to say, 15 years later, you still got it? It's not as easy as it used to be. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think I did a little drip of water and maybe a quick lie down. Can you say that for me? I got you, Google. Um, you cop a squat. Uh, you have about 25 seconds. Okay, so in the late 1980s, composer Alan Menken... <laughs> Alan Menken! Alan Menken! To a little animated film, I think all of us nerds know by heart, about the king of the sea and his strong-willed, red-headed daughter. Now, 20 years later, Disney Theatrical brought The Little Mermaid to Broadway, and I remember seeing this fantastic show. All those classic songs from the movie were in the show, as well as some new songs written especially for Broadway. One of which I'm going to sing for you in just a minute. Woohoo! Woohoo! But just before that, I also remember seeing on stage this actress. Oh. Woo! This wonderful, yeah. pretty, Thank you. lovely, Thank you. and oh so kind Thank actress. You. Thank you. Playing one of the most hideous, despicable Disney villains of all time. <laughs> Do your worst, Ursula. Do your worst. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh, I use it on behalf.
young man there. I'm going to follow that. Yes, Gavin, get up. You're a Broadway star. Okay. Come on, how about give the people a little scuttle? Now look at me. You see my face. In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case. And as for style and savoir faire, well, I guess there ain't a whole lot there yet. Although perhaps it makes no sense. I strut my stuff with lots of confidence. Cause no, I lack an awful lot. There is one thing I got. I got positivity. I got positivity. It gives me the zam and the zow and the yaddle and laddle. That's why I walk with a wiggle in my waddle. Cause once you've heard that word, there ain't nothing you can do. So let that positivity work for you. Just with a bit and a bap and a ba-ba-boo, you can flip any flap till your wish comes true. The tip is to tap into something that you believe. And a zag and a zaz I see There ain't nothing you can be You see, it's really your prerogative You simply can't be negative And then yes, you just sit there Smack that flat upon your derriere If that's the way you wanna be Well, you might as well be shrubbery So stand right up and dust your seat And walk real tall upon your own two feet Enjoy your trip and make mistakes, but you've got what it takes. Heidi, hold my knife. I simply have to dance. in the Disney Channel's original movie, Freaky Friday. Very refreshing, yes. And the songs for that musical were written by Tom Kitt and Brian Yorkie. Full surprise, people. Heidi, I think it's high time that you shared with us a little sample of that fantastic score. I would love to. You take a break, Gav.
Prices and fresh, it's three days dead. It's a million little things from the Riesling to the rings. But I got this cause I love to work this way. What a day. Just One Day was always one of my favorites. And it is in the theatrical version, and it made the cut into the Disney Channel original movie, the DCOM, <laughs> right? We all know what that means now. Okay, and a lot of times when you are making a theatrical musical into a movie musical, a lot of really great material gets cut for all kinds of reasons, including swallowing. This next song that still made the cut for the theatrical version, but did not make the cut for the decom. What is this feeling that I'm feeling? Like I shot right through the ceiling. Is it only the caffeine and the sugar and the pizza? Dare me. I had three slices of that pizza. Our carbs, the feeling that I'm feeling. Like I'm losing it but dealing. It's alarming, but appealing, and somehow healing. Ah! How long has it been since this old heart has skipped a beat? How long have I kept an even key? How hard have I worked to keep our lives so calm and neat? And how good does this frickin' chaos be? Well, that stuff right out. And I thought I taught you manners, but I 
you have been fantastic. Thank you for letting us share with you some of our favorite Disney Broadway hits tonight. And we have one more fan favorite to sing for you before we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Kevin, we gotta do one more thing before Watch we out. do that. <laughs> We're gonna make this awesome band! These guys. share the stage with you this evening. Oh, Gavin, it's been my pleasure. We've had such a great time. When we get to do these great big concerts like this, it's always great to have a really good friend by your side, because then you always know somebody's, somebody's got, got your, your back. back. Gavin, what? that sounds like a shameless introduction for our last number. Maybe it is from Disney's hit Broadway smash, Aladdin. As a teeny genie, I would dare to dream. I'd be given freedom, free and clear. So, forgive me if I sing, or make a whole big thing, but I just can't maintain my cool veneer. Let it go, Gavin. Let it go. Don't hold it back anymore. Wrong show. Sorry. You save me, and I'll save you. Yes.